It's time for Anime Review. It's the review of Ange Virgo. Like, comment, and subscribe. The story of a card game follows what happens when Haru's portal suddenly opens, fusing five different worlds together. As a result, various mysterious exceed powers are awakened in teenage girls. An academy for these so-called progress girls is built on an isolated, serene island in the Pacific. This anime is 12 episodes. It is based off of a card game series. It is adventure, magic, fantasy, and school. Each episode is 23 minutes per episode and is rated R plus for mild nudity. One thing that I like about this anime is that it was something different because I really haven't heard this anime before, especially the card game that it's based off of. It. So I was like very intrigued when I like first like dived into this anime. And when it came out, it came out in like July 10th, 2006, December 25th, 2016. So I was really like not putting it on my high expectation list when first watching because I've never heard of the card game. But um, and also like the also it's also based off of a light novel as well. But I think the whole overall main point of the story is a, a group of female like girls who awaken this power in them because some girl open the portal with the card game is the general just to it without giving too much away and I think with the aspect of them from different worlds and combining to one where they're all on this island trying to fight against some unknown enemy and I think the setting for us was pretty unique and a concept that I've never seen before particularly um but there is the main protagonist of the show of course as always and with it being only 12 so it's like a pretty decent like amount of a, for anime series to be very straight through the point um, it does try to get a lot of backstory for each of the protagonists and the supporting cast and along with the girls themselves with the character development and basically I try and go into like their powers. And I think also I feel like each of them have a very distinct like specific trait that's more dominant over the rest of the personality versus the girls. And I think the different like oriented goals and, and like aspirations that you know that they all try to strive for. I think it's a good way to tell the story, especially when it's equally balanced for story and and character driven. I think that I like the most about it, and I feel like how each scene is like planned out and mapped. It does it with the characters in them justice, because you can see how each character relates to one another and how they bond with each other, how they try to strengthen each other. And I think the development of each character does a fantastic job of doing that. Especially when you try to figure out more of them and like their backstory and like where they come from and where are their powers. I feel like and with each girl they're from different worlds different powers to so their appearance and outfits can explain a lot of that. And I feel like what I'll get into way, I'm not explaining all the characters because I feel like you should watch the anime for yourself because of this and this channel. Spoiler free so I think you should watch the anime and get to know the girls a little more like I personally did watch watching. I think also commend the boys actors for bringing these characters to life that way you can have more of a relatable bond to these characters and I feel like that goes along with the supporting cast as well. The art style is pretty good. The environment like I feel like was very nicely. There wasn't anything that was like too overpowering with the colors of the scene. And the fight scenes were really well done. They were my favorite so far. And I think for each fight scene the characters eat well. For the opening and end song, I think the, they do a great job of producing the music for this series. And overall I think it's just overall a splendor of an anime that Deserves more hype than it got, especially when it came out in 2016. I really wish that it had another season, but sadly it doesn't. And I'm very intrigued to see what the, if it's any difference from the card game that it's based off of, since I really haven't seen it. Um, overall, I think this anime has a great way of storytelling with the cast, the characters, and also the voice acting to bring these characters to life. And, you know, there is a few fan service here and there, but I don't find it really particularly unusual. There's fan service in an anime, whether that be for boys or girls. I think it just stems down to the whole overall color present what you actually prefer in an anime and like what doesn't really bother you in terms of fan service and nudity and type of that stuff and along with like the very graphic fight scenes if you're not clear with that you're not really like adapt to the more gory scenes in the anime but to an anime then I suggest that you don't watch it but overall I enjoy it. I give this like a 6.4 out of 10. I just wish there was more to push the overall whole theme of the backstory for each character and that you just got to know them a little bit more. But overall it was okay and I thought it was an interesting premise and I think you should give it a, try. Give it a shot if you haven't already. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. Don't forget to comment, 
down below in the comment section what anime you want me to review next or any suggestions that you may have. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more comments and more videos. And I'll see you soon. Bye!